Hi everyone, welcome back to How Text. Today we have the iPhone 10, aka iPhone X. I'm going to show you how to change the language. So, in order to change the system language, which is basically the language of all of the uh, apps and whatnot, you want to go to Settings and go down to General. So here, if you go down, you want to look for Language and Region, which is under Date and Time. And then uh, you can choose from one of the preferred languages. So here you can see the iPhone language and we have it set to English. So just click on this and uh, you can choose from you know, a million different languages in a million different variations depending on the countries. For example, Brazilian Portuguese versus Portugal Portuguese. So here you can see all kinds of different versions of English and other popular languages. Uh, in, in most cases, actually, there's multiple versions. You know, you have Canadian French versus France French. So if you want to change it, just click on the new language and then hit done. So it asks you to confirm change to traditional Chinese. So it takes a second. And then here we are in the same place in Chinese, all in Chinese. So this brings up the next fun part of our challenge that we always do, which is what if you get an iPhone 10 and it's already set up and it's set to a language that you can't read. So for example, Chinese. So let's say you buy a phone from someone off of eBay and it comes in Chinese and you can't read Chinese. Anyway, you want to look for the gear icon, uh, which may be in a different position on your phone, but it will definitely look like this. So just touch on that. So again, you want to find uh, the general section. So go down and uh, there's another gear here. So don't be fooled by this letter A thing. That's actually the display size. Uh, what you need to do is go to the gear one, uh, which is the general. And so now it's a little tricky. You have to find the languages and regions. And uh, so there's no icons here. So it's not really easy to show you. But basically you want to go to this one. So if it's in Chinese, it looks like this. If you got your phone and it's in Swahili or something, uh, it won't look like this, but it should be in the same position. So it's basically VPN, iTunes, Wi-Fi, uh, and then two above that. So it's also the third in this section right here. So look for that one, and then it will be iPhone language. So let's uh, just click on that, and then we get back to that screen where you can choose the languages. So a key thing here is you want to make sure that you choose the right type of English. Uh, so you have a choice of, I guess this is American English, Australian English, India English, and also UK English. So let's just switch it to Global English, which I guess is US English, and then make sure that you click on the Confirm button up here on the top right. And it'll say, uh, do you want to switch to English? And it actually says it to you in Chinese. So uh, trust me, just click on this one and Setting Language, and it should take a second, and it'll be back on that same screen in English. So that's how you change it from a language you can't read into a language that you can read. And oh, by the way, you can also change the region and the you know temperature unit and the calendar format here as well. So one other thing is this option for preferred language order. So it says apps and websites will use the first language in this list that they support. So for example, if you are going to a website in China, um, it knows that, uh, okay, my first choice is English. So if it's if that website has an English version, it will probably display that. It can be set up to display that. Uh, and if not, then go to Chinese, for example. And if I go to a website in Japan, uh, if it doesn't have an English version, it might have a Chinese version. And if it doesn't, then it would show a Japanese version. So that's, you know, I guess it's important um, if you are a very international person and you're using apps from other countries that might not have uh, something in your native language, and this might come in handy. So in my case, I can speak Japanese and Chinese and obviously English. So if you want to change those, you have to go to edit. This is a little strange, but basically they're here and now you can drag them, uh, change the order by dragging on these little bars here. So keep that in mind as well and do done. So that's kind of weird where you're editing the entire page. That's kind of a UI fail, I guess. You're editing the entire page um, up at the top, but it's only actually changing this, not these things. So uh, I think that actually probably breaks the rules for uh, iOS format. But anyway, that's what they put in. So that's how you change a language on an iPhone X. I'll do a separate video on how to change the keyboards. So definitely check that out as well. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Give us a like and thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. See you guys next time. Bye.
foot firmly and then pull this guy out gently. And again, make sure that you have the phone pointed face up. Uh, you don't want this thing to fall out on the floor.